there everyone. So today uh, I'm going to be showing the first half of the uh, deck building stream I did over the weekend. We're going to be doing another one. Keep an eye on my socials and on the YouTube channel, uh, which you should subscribe to by the way. And while you're down there, you can hit the like button um, to uh, see when the next one is uh, because we absolutely did not get through everything. So this is going to be me building three decks uh, and going through the whole process of how I did it um, with chat's help. Uh, I gave chat options as well on uh, what to build. So it was a, it was a fun time. Uh, but basically, I just wanted to say, like, yeah, this is a... If you want to see all the lists, you can check my Twitter, um, which is at Academy Ibo. Go follow me there, um, because I tweeted them all out. And, uh, yeah, as I say, look forward to the next one. Uh, but for now, here is the first half of that stream, uh, so you can see what we did. Enjoy. Well, that's pretty definitively darkness. <laughs> um, when's UK release again? April 30th, it's, uh, it should be. Okay, we will start with darkness. Well, uh, uh, okay, I guess I can get rid of get rid of this. So, um, as you can see, um, what I've got here is this is basically the TTS deck building simulator, the deck building tool. So I'm just going to be showing that this should have all the this should have enough space for everything. So uh, let's get started. Uh, now, I think darkness actually doesn't need wizard. I don't think it needs it. I think uh, you stick with night. It's my it's my personal opinion there. I think that's I think that's what we do. So, well, okay. Hmm. What's what's the best way to go about this? Um, let's start off with the let's start off with the starter deck cards. I think. Um, and let me know. Uh, yeah. So I'll, I'll kind of explain uh, my thought process while I'm while I'm going through this, and you can just ask me questions uh, and things. Uh, Berserker, Darkness, Red, and Yellow. Interesting. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll do that one later. We'll do that one later. Remind remind me if I forget. So, okay, looking through the starter deck. Here here are the cards that I think are like worth playing from the starter deck. Um and play you. Do I want to play you? I don't think I want to I don't think I do want to play. What, what do you guys think about win-win? What, what, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on win-win? So win-win is, uh, is is this legend here. So this is uh, both you and your opponent uh, untap two energy and uh, you draw one, I believe as well. Um, I'm not. Uh, yeah, so I'm uh, I'm not 100 sure because there are really good legends. Um, I think Captain Liberty, um, we can just put in straight away. Um, Captain Liberty is just uh, very very pog, um, so we can go ahead and use him. He's uh, he's definitely let's mark the end there. I think he's he's going absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, because I, I think I, I don't know. I, I think the the dark darkness really got <laughs> kind of uh, gypped in the starter deck department because this really doesn't feel like as good as any of the others. Like I'm just looking through and there's just like uh, oh actually I suppose you will run uh, Geist. I think this is probably quite good. Is the music is the music a good volume by the way uh, or is it too loud? Um, yeah yeah I think uh, that's not a bad idea. Um, I'll probably put in a mag or something because I'd just rather have mag. Uh, <laughs> potential board wipe is pretty good. Um, so I think we want to play a few of these. Uh, oh, what's going on here? Oh no! Um, can I? Can I? Can I? Shall I? Shall I just? Let's screw everything up. Uh, it's okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna screw things up a little bit. Let me just let me just. Woo! Let's just go ahead and. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, fixed. All right. We're all good. We're all good. So. Um, Let's uh, let's let's do the counters. Let's let's do the counters. <laughs> um, okay, actually, before we do the counters, uh, I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna be very bad. We're playing Make a Killing, boys. We're playing Make a Killing. Not only are we playing Make a Killing, we're playing Four Make a Killing. For now, I don't know. I may take them out. <laughs> we're gonna be, we're gonna be garbage. We are bad at this game, boys. That's how this works. Uh, let's just reorganize this a little bit, because those dockle files are absolutely staying, and this geist is probably staying. 
I know, I know. It's it's pretty pog. It's pretty pog. But I don't know, man. It's well, okay. So it kind. I really hated it during set one, but we have a lot more darkness cards now, like a lot more. So I think, I think, I think there's some potential here. Uh, all right, I think that's it for the cards you actually play from the starter deck. So let's do the counters. Let's do the counters, and I'm just gonna sort of um, flip around between all the sets here while I do these. Um, so yeah, we'll start off with. Uh, I need some final end. I need some quantity of final end. Um, I think Finland is really good, but it's very expensive. Um, so I, uh, I don't really want to play too many of them. Uh, I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with just two. Um, I may end up, uh, I may have, like, I may have to cut down, um, Viola though, and I really like Viola, so, I don't know. Um, but here's the, here's the big boy. Here's the big boy. The one we absolutely have to play. Mandatory four of. Mandatory four of. The card that makes darkness good. Counter and final end, yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like, uh, I, I think but basically, like, I want, I want all my counters to feel really good, and I think darkness, out of every deck in the game, I think darkness actually has, with set two, the best feeling counter lineup, which is kind of crazy because it had the worst feeling counter lineup in set one, but I genuinely think it's the best feeling counter lineup in this set. So, I mean, we got to play four of this, dude. This is the best. This is the best. Oh, oh, oh. do you want to? Do you want to chill? I want to chill. Okay, let's get those in. This is the best counter in the game. Uh, no, it's not. But this is the best darkness card, that's for sure. This card is very good. Very good. Uh, next, I want to play Hades. I need some Hades, boys. That's. Uh, I think Hades is a ridiculous card. Um, so, we're going we're gonna to go to Atlas, and we're going to grab our Hades. One, two, three, four. Look at that. Look at all those Hades. We only have three slots left. <laughs> Card is trash just like Darkness. Hey, man, it is what it is. Shadraker. Yeah. So I've come around to really, really liking the energy untappers um, the more I play. Um, I've, I, I, on release, I wasn't a massive fan, but I've definitely come around to them. I think it's just a matter of... Um, can I justify that counter space when it could go to something like an Alice, for example? Because Alice is such a obviously good counter that I'm not 100% sure. Because at the moment, my instinct is just to chuck in three Alice and be done with it. But uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to read because there may be other counters that I'm just totally missing that are like really good and I definitely need to play. So I'm going to leave the counter line up for this at the moment, but we'll come back to it. 100%, um, because I'll definitely have done some slightly sus stuff. Um, getting a two-cost darkness into grave is really sweet bonus. Also, five defense is hard to punch over without burn. True, true, though I will say um, there's a lot more center destruction in the format now, so I don't, I, I think that's a bit less valuable uh, nowadays. Though, um, set one format, you're absolutely correct. It's, it's, it's quite strong. Um, so, uh, what are some cards? Uh, this is a, this is a card. This is a card. So this is the, uh, this is the level zero darkness that is, um, uh, on, uh, when you abyss summon, it can it as any level from zero to two. So I think that's, uh, that's very nice. Um, so I want to play some of that. Uh, oh, I've got to play Voltona. Um, we, we got to include, we got to include Voltona. That's, that's kind of mandatory. Uh, da, 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 da. Do we? What, what do we think about Meryl in Darkness? Needed? I don't. I don't. I don't think Meryl is needed. As as strong as Meryl is, I'm. I'm not 100 sure we even really need to play him. What do you guys think? Voice script. Shut up. <laughs> Meryl. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll. I'll go ahead and. Uh, I'll. I'll just chuck Meryl in here. This is Meryl. Um, if you don't know what he does, um, so he's uh, level 1, Dungeon Demon Lord, 0 one zero. Uh, He has the ability, um, when this is in an attacking zone, it cannot be attacked or chosen by unit abilities. Uh, once per turn, you can rest it to activate one of your energy, and he makes your summon cap 3. So uh, let me know what you guys think, if, if that's worth the space. But I'm, I'm leaning away because uh, you have a lot of darkness cards you want to play. I like him too. I think he's really good. I just don't know if there's space in darkness. Maybe a two of? All right, we'll we'll consider it. We'll consider it. Um, I'll tell you what I do want to play though. I want to play uh, two of this boy, two of this. 
I want two of you. Kaldus Gram. I like this card. I like this card a lot. Oh, not three. Not three. Three's too many. Don't think it's needed. Yeah. Untapping one lets you drop your three costs every turn. Very true. Uh, that is a good point. I don't... But... I don't know. Like, I think... Because we have quite a lot of, um, like, filter. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? I may... I may go back on the Alice... I'm not sure. I may take out the Alice because I kind of want to play. Uh, I want to play this dude. I want to play this card. Um, let me let me let me put it in. So you see what I'm talking about. Uh, da -da -da. The secret weapon. This card. So this is the uh, card where you discard a card um, and draw one, and then you activate the card's counter. And just looking through, right? Like what are what are our discards? Um, obviously, we probably don't want to trigger. Uh, I mean, well, okay, Rex does nothing. Um, Final End will filter us one. Uh, Shadow of Hades will give us something on board. And uh, Alice will untap one of our energy, um, which will make it a one-cost filter. And uh, the uh, summoner, the Abyss Summon, will do just, will just let us Abyss Summon. So I think uh, the, the Secret Weapon flows quite, quite nicely with this deck. Maybe a two-of is what I'm thinking right now. There's like no good local in the UK. I, I think I th I think uh, we'll get some. We'll get some. Uh, we'll get some. Hopefully, <laughs> when when stuff starts opening up again. Uh, so I don't think we need Midas' secretary. I'm not a massive fan. I feel like it's a worse maker killing in darkness. Yeah, true. Um, but though though you do get it. Like I think that the the cost just sort of the, the payoff there is right. You get it immediately. Uh, you get it during main, so you can still do stuff, um, which is obviously quite good. Uh, I'm not. I, it's, it's, it's a fair point. It's a fair point. Uh, I just realised that um, chat is aggressively getting cut off a little bit. Let me just uh, let's just do that, and we'll fix that. Let's just make that. There, there we go. There we go. I'm a professional streamer. I'm a professional streamer. Is there a Google Drive I can download all these images from? Um, so it's not updated yet. Uh, check. Uh, I, you're in my Discord, so um, I'll I'll ping when um, it's updated with all the set two cards. Um, at the moment, like a lot of them are in Japanese, um, so I'll, I'll I'll let you know. Okay. Um, so what else was I considering? Looking through, uh, there was, and there was, okay, so there was another darkness, um, Viola, oh, yeah, 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 right, Voltona, uh, we need Voltona, uh, who is here somewhere, right, we need some Voltonas, uh, debatably four, <laughs> uh, there's a reasonable argument for playing four of this dude, I think I just put a fifth one in, yeah. I think there's a pretty good argument to play for. Uh, I'm gonna go against the Meryl. Uh, and we need, I, I'd say, two Violas. Dark Mother and the one cost. Yes, yep. Uh, forgot forgot about our summoners as well. We gotta put those in. So let me let me go ahead and grab those. Uh, da -da -da. Let's get... Uh, so I think two Violas is fine. Um, now we need some summoners. So on Dark Mother... Uh, let me, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, so the, the level one summoner, the new one, uh, you can pitch that for Dark Mother, right? Just, uh, just confirm. Yes, you can. All right, cool. Uh, that is all good then. Let me go ahead and put, uh, Dark Mother in. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, I, I think you can. I'm pretty sure it's the right attribute. Um, and then let's go ahead and put in... So there was this other... Uh, there was this other darkness card, the other darkness event, which was like destroy a level one or less on your opponent's field and heal one, which I thought was quite good, um, but it's a two cost. Uh, maybe, maybe worth playing. Um, not 100% sure. Uh, actually, one potential issue with this many Dark Mothers is Dark Mother is Dark. No, Dark Mother's Darkness, right? I'm not going crazy, right? Dark Mother is Darkness, right? 
Or am I just am I losing my mind? Thanks for the follow, Hal. Took you fucking long enough. Uh, <laughs> uh, you think the two cost event is better in with she is darkness? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Let me let me put these. Uh, let me put that level one in. Let's play. Uh, I think two is sufficient. Um, put this here. How many cards are we at now? We're at forty nine. So we got two cards left. Uh, so my instinct would be in these final two spots. Uh, to play. Let me. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to reorganize this because it's kind of annoying me. Let's do this. So my instinct in these final two slots is to play... Uh, where are you? It's too sufficient, though. Uh, Dark Moment needs to be a second copy of herself, or that one cost to be summoned. Uh, yeah, so, so there are five targets for Dark Mother. Um... Maybe I do need to play more. Well, I'm just thinking because because I don't want to play too many summoners because um, that could be an issue. Thanks for the follow, uh, base samurai JJ, base samurai J. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, the card I wanted to play uh, was this this event. Um, which I'll just go ahead and drop in, and then I think the uh, the question will come down to will, will come down to the secret weapon. Um, so want those there. Uh, so the question is basically on the secret weapon. I think yeah, I'd rather play. Uh, I think yeah, and also win win. I'm not a. Uh, thank you for the follow, loot son. Uh, are you playtesting any of this day? Uh, I'm gonna start by building. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Like, if I if I build, like, basically all the decks I'm interested in building fairly quickly, then we can do some playtesting for sure. Um, but just going to see how, how it goes. Um, I'll definitely, like, be testing a lot of these on stream at some point, even if it isn't this stream. Uh, summon event plus secret weapon help a lot. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, secret weapon into summon event is nuts. Uh, well, actually, is it nuts? You lose two from hand. You gain one back. And then you just abyss summon, which you were going to do for the two anyway. I don't know. I think the secret weapon's really good, but maybe it's best in... Yeah, okay, so here's... All right, here's the thing. Okay, here's the thing. Here's what I was talking... I was talking to Austin about this before, uh, before like a couple hours ago. Akeda did this thing, right, where in set one, you read, like, a lot of the cards, and you were like, wow, these seem really strong. Um, but then... Uh, you tested them, and you're like, oh, I don't know, there's just something off, something... Uh, I just realized I forgot a bunch of really good cards. <laughs> uh, you, you just sit there and you go, I think there's something off, there's something funny here. Right? Um, <laughs> and then set two came along, and a lot of cards suddenly clicked. Like, for example, I can't believe I haven't put this in yet, because this is absolutely one of the best cards in Darkness, Levin. This card's nuts. Um, and now I need to make space for him. <laughs> Uh, make a killing, I'll drop down to three for sure then. Uh, I think three, it's probably fine to three of him. Uh, because, it was, because of Voltona, we have targeted Milful Dokafar, so we're almost always going to have a Shadow of Hades target, so I think three eleven's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. Uh, am I happy with Win-Win as the second legend? Kind of sucks that, like, uh, I think all the Volnar legends are counter, annoyingly, and the other Atlas legend um, is not bad. It's the it's the one it's like the level three that you can just shove face and do damage. But I think at least win win. It's kind of going to let me pop off a bit harder. Um, I don't think I've forgotten anything here, but let me know. Let me. Uh, what about the new Volnar event that pops to when you have a dragon? Yeah. So, I really like that legend, but uh, then I need to lose one of my counters. <laughs> Paul Allen's deck ain't, ain't shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, like, uh, then I need to lose one of my counters, and I don't really want to, right? Because I think I can't have less than two final end. I can't have less than three viola, I feel. I'm, I, I want to try four Hades. Maybe that'll change. Uh, I think Alice is amazing. Mag and Dragonic Armageddon could be good legends, yeah, uh, absolutely. But again, then we're we're just we're running out of these counter spots. Uh, I'm just looking through and counting the darkness cards. So we have five, uh, t uh, five, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 
37. We have 37 Darkness cards now. Run Spaghetti Monster. No Atlas required. This man knows. This is this is intelligent. This is intelligent conversation. Uh, thank you for the follow, Galaxy Puck. I think. Uh, okay, right. Roast it. What what are, what are things you look at this and you go, what the fuck are you doing? What are you talking about? Because I'm kind of happy with this, but I, obviously I'll need to play test um, to arrive at something at something uh, sort of whatever uh, so something better. But um, like just. Shout out cards, you're like, why the fuck are you playing this? And I'll explain. If there's anything you're not sure about. Otherwise, we can always move on to something else. Seems solid. I, I think it looks... I mean, I think... Off of my playtesting experience from Set 1 Darkness... I look at this and I think this should flow a hell of a lot better. Um, for Voltona, maybe Overkill. Uh, I don't know about the win-win. Yeah, it's just like the legends are kind of uh, jank. <laughs> Got a test to find out. Yeah. Okay. Um, I still dislike Hades overall. Uh, that's fine. That's fair. Um, I, you're entitled. I think everyone like I'm entitled to my opinion and I love Hades. You're entitled to yours and you hate it. That's cool. Um, that's fair. It's just super defensive, yeah. Um, and I think... Oh, I just realised another counter I really want to play. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Okay, let me get you Let me get you guys' opinion. Let me get you guys' opinion. Because there's a lot of set destruction. So I'm not sure if I do want to play this. But let me let me put this card in. So you know what I'm talking about. Uh, da -da -da, where are you? This card. This card. So if you don't know what this card does... Um, so this card uh, is, is a level 1. Uh, the counter is put it to discard. Uh, and it says, use timing at the start of your opponent's attack phase. All damage you take for the rest of the turn becomes 1. So, it's really good. But, uh, it's very vulnerable to set destruction. And it's like... My counters are good, so I don't really mind taking damage to an extent. I have a lot of ways to put something in center. Uh, yeah, I think Darkness is one of those decks where you can kind of just get away with it. I just realized I didn't even update this uh, currently building thing. Uh, I put I put in all the effort to let people know what we're doing, and I didn't even update it for this entire time. <laughs> um, yeah, I think... I think... There's a lot of set destruction, so I feel like if I played this, I would switch back to Alice quite quickly. Because Alice is just cracked. Just hit your summon counter like Exactly. Good players hit their counters. It's true. It's true. Alright. Um, I think this is good. I think this is good. Uh, let me just go ahead and uh, save it. Um, this is darkness set two, and that is saved. On to the next one, boys. So, the question is, what do we build next? What do we build next? Well, uh, once again, I have I have some options, and uh, and I'll leave it up to you guys to uh, to tell me what you want to see. So, um, put a one in chat if you want to see robos. Put a two in chat. If you want to see uh, good stuff, Berserker, put a three in chat. If you want to see Wild Force, dragons will come soon. Dragons will come soon. So it's, uh, it's pretty. It's even. It's even at the moment. I can do polls, actually, can't I? Is that that's the thing I can do, right? I don't know how to do them. I don't know how to do this, so we'll uh, we'll just we'll just keep doing this. Three, one. Uh, okay, we're fifty-fifty between Robos and uh, oh, okay. Well, everyone, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> we're, we're we're very evenly split. 
Um, okay, well, I'll tell you what. Uh, because because someone actually requested it, we'll do Robos. Uh, because it's it's exactly uh, a third for each. Um, so that's cool. Let's let's get started with Robos then. So uh, of course, Apprentice. We got we got to go with Apprentice as the as the ruler. So let's put in Apprentice. Certified bottom gear moment. Hal, you are the definition of bottom gear, my friend. Right. So. Let's start with the starter deck, as we did before. Um, we'll go to GSO4. Uh, GSO2, rather. 1, rather. Uh, so, good robos here. Good robos. Well, we've got the boy. Um, who is, of course, rather good. And we've got this boy, who is also rather good. Uh, and I think that's the only cards you really... Oh, no, 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 sorry. And we need some of this guy. Some of you. Some quantity of you, I think. Now, my logic on playing Do or Die Defense Battle. So this is a card that says um, you give one of your units plus three HP. Uh, so the logic here is um, you're going to have something. Uh, you you want to basically just protect your units. Uh, you really don't want them to die, so giving them, like, extra health is the best way to do that. And this is really degenerate when you can, like, just give something sold as well. Uh, for Haunting, um, so, I, I don't think any deck can really go for Haunting anymore. <laughs> um, the, there are too many good counters. There are so many ridiculously powerful counters. Like, I think 1 to 2 is all you can really justify, in my opinion, anymore. Which is uh, pretty wild. I was trying to... It's chat, but chat wouldn't let me. What's, what's dash S? Sorry, I'm a Twitch boomer. I don't understand how any of this works. Uh, we gotta we gotta play four thousand year cherry tree. This card's broken. Shocker sarcastic. Oh, so yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, I may uh, I may have uh, some weird setting turned on that doesn't let people say that. I'll uh, I'll look into it after this stream. Uh, so okay, that's an, that's another staple. Um, to be fair, Galak might actually not be a staple um, because. Uh, I, I generally like doing the counters first, so let's do that. Um, I think I'm going to put in two Haunting for now. I may decrease this. Uh, as far as Legends go, Wonderverse has the best Legend in the game. Uh, definitively, definitively the best Legend in the game. Uh, da -da, which is, of course, the God of All... Flying Spaghetti Monster. It's the best legend in the game. Uh, and I think we're also going to play for our other legend. We're going to play... Da -da -da. Uh, you imagine from... We're going to play Captain Amiga. I think uh, these are both ridiculous. Uh, they are... They're nuts. I think these are... Oh, it's actually not a counter, to be fair. So that's that's good. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think these are both uh, stupid cards. Let's uh, Let's keep going, then. On the counters, so what else do we want to play? Hmm. So, I... I don't... I don't think the best build of Robos plays Daijinki. Is that a... Is that a controversial opinion? I don't think... I don't think you have space to play any Daijinki. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a controversial opinion or if... Uh, everyone thinks this. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put in uh, some of the broken cards. Uh... Oh, actually. Heaven's Vengeance comes fast is really good as well. No, actually, no, no. It doesn't really synergize as well. Uh, we're going to go for this guy. This guy's broken. Broken card. Broken card. Uh, and we also want four of another broken card, which is... The, uh, this boy. Another broken card. So 
Top checking for sets is quite good. Uh, I kind of want... Yeah. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll put you here. Let's put you down here. So I'll space to organise my sets. Um, I want to put in... Grand Messer. I want to put in some Grand Messer. And I also want to put in... How many Innocent Hearts? I want to play this card. This card has a such a silly counter. Um, it uh, so this card's counter is rest your opponent's ruler and all enemy units, uh, and the use timing is normal. You choose all of your opponent's set zones or your opponent's field zone, and you just nuke everything. Uh, so this is just kind of uh, kind of mental. Um, it just seems very very strong. Uh, Oh, I want to play Gasha Dokura as well. I th look, lads. I think I think Galax. Uh, <laughs> I don't think Galax makes the cut. <laughs> um, certified yikes moment, but I don't think Galax makes the cut because uh, I think his bigger brother is a lot better. I think Mesa is way better than Galax because Mesa is a seven-seven. Yeah, he only has three strike, but seven seven's significantly harder to deal with than six six, and he has like an amazing game ending effect, right? Whereas Galak is just a six six four vanilla, which is scary. But I don't know, man. I'm um, I'm always I'm um, like with Mesa, you can like if you just have some dog shit thing on board. Um, if it's a robo, you can just scoop it up, which is pretty nice, I think. Um. Yeah, I just think I just think Mesa Mesa's just kind of vibing. Uh, Galax brother, yeah, I mean, the, yeah, his brother, he's, he's just Pog, he's just Pog. Um, okay, what else do we want to put in? What else do we want to put in? Oh, there's this dude as well, Type Ten Super Sky Soldier Tenrai, who is a six six two Defender Retaliate, um, which I think like yeah, you lose out on the strike, but you get two keywords. For, two, for a loss of two strike compared to Galak, which is pretty good as well. Um, so it's tough. Oh man, finding all the space is really tough. Um, actually, let's let's check what's our what's our level count right now. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, twenty. Uh, that's twenty. Um, wait, did I already do the? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 21, 29, uh, 37, 37, 40. So we're at 40 out of 60 right now. We've got 20 more levels. Quite pog. It's more than I thought. Uh, what else shall we include? There are so many good cards I want to play, but I'm not sure. Hello, Kebabster. It's going well. We are currently building... I forgot. Can you guys remind me? Uh, can you guys remind me, uh, to update this stupid text thing? So I don't look like a goon. <laughs> uh, gosh, let's see. Why do I say gosh? I can fucking swear, it's my stream, I do what I want. Let's see here. Oh, oh, I know what we play. We play this card. We play this card. Reduce any damage to zero on counter. Uh, so it has a counter, which does make it a little worse, but I think that's fine. Uh, let's see what else do we want to play. What else do we want to play? So that hasn't added to our level limit. Uh, you're building on TTS. Yes, uh, I am. Warp is a garbage card. <laughs> so it's not garbage. It's not garbage. Um, there is a strictly better version. In this set, though. Um, which is a, a fair point. Thank you for the follow, Light Dark F. Uh, much appreciated. Um, so the other, the better card is Nirvana. Let me find Nirvana and I'll put him in. Here. Yeah. This is the better card. So this lets you reorganize your whole field. Is that not better? Uh, let's see. I guess, should I just put in some, should I put in Yobikos? No, I don't know. I, I need more units. I need more, like, units. Let's put in... Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put in, uh, let's put in this guy. 
Okay, okay. Uh, uh... Okay, right. I think I know. I think I know what we're gonna do. Okay, we're gonna play. We're gonna play this. We're gonna play you. We're gonna play. Full gash because his card's broken. Um, so our counter lineup is done. And how many cards do we have? We're at 44. So we got a few more slots that we need to fill. Uh, uh, let me. Let's 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 do a let's do a level count. Let's do a level count. Uh, Ash, let me know. Let me know how it tests. Um, so we got one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Eight twos, so 16, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 3, so 36, uh, 36 for 16 is 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. We got three levels left, I think. Can you guys, uh, can you guys double check? Double check, that's level count 57. Um, just make sure I haven't done the maths wrong, because as long as it's 57, then I know how we're going to finish off the list. I decided on a whim to come in here and I immediately see two hauntings. Look, man. Haunting just vibes, you know? That card's good. Just count forehead. Uh, look, man. Put that education to use and count for me. Okay. Please double check this is 60. Because then I think the list is done. I think. Because I'll play uh, this as the last card. Actually, what do you do? No, you're, you're garbage, aren't you? Yeah, you're garbage. Also, what is Xenoblade X music? Uh, yeah, I just have on a Xenoblade uh, playlist. So um, I think it, it, it'll be from either X, uh, 1 or 2. I'm pretty sure this is 2. Uh, where is Yobiko? Is she in the starter deck? I think she's in the starter deck, isn't she? Yobiko, there you are. All right. Okay. Have a look. How does this look? Can you count? Can you count for me, please? <laughs> make sure this is 60. Uh, well, make sure this is 50. Um, because the haunting's minus 10. Uh, and I think this will be a reasonable list. There's definitely two. Bro, Xenoblade is... Uh, I just love those games so much. Uh, it's 69. Thank you, Bapice. Har har har. I'm assuming it is, but I'm just going to double check one last time. So I don't look like a clown. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... I think that's six. I think that is fifty. I think that is good. So, I believe we're done. But uh, are there any cards I've missed? Uh, are there any cards you guys are reading and thinking this guy's an idiot? Let me know. Am, am I missing anything? Looking forward to testing it. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I think it, it looks strong. So I'm just thinking, like in principle, your your counters are really good. Um, a lot of the time, uh, you have. Too small for me to read. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I don't think I can really make it any bigger uh, and still have the whole list there. So uh, when you, like, know every card off by heart, it'll probably be better. You're seeing bots. Yeah, robots, yeah. Uh, so so the logic is basically uh, behind the list is we have 12 ways to top check for a set. Our sets are all valuable in some way. Um, they'll They'll do something good. Uh, whenever we hit, when we hit a big monster, it's gonna be good. Um, almost every single unit is a robo, so emergency combination is live, like, a lot of the time. We have lots of ways to top filter. 
I think this should be decent. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, just, 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 just to be, just to play the new card. Let's play this. Uh, let's play this, dude. Where are you? Let's play two of this just to play the new card. Our gate ruler deck's capped at 50 cards. Uh, at the moment, yeah. Every single gate ruler deck is exactly 50. Um, but, could very well change. Did my camera just die? Oh, my camera just died. Hello? Camera? Camera? Excuse me? What's going on? What's going on here? I don't know why I did that. Not sure what happened there, but uh, I think we're back. <laughs> Let's see Paul Allen's camera. Oh, look at the look at the tasteful lens, the subtle off-white coloring on every image. Right. Let's go ahead and save this then, and we'll move on to our next deck. Thanks for the follow, Manok. Uh, nope. Just need to make the card size the right thing. Okay, so. How many decks are we building? Uh, so far we've built two. Um, and I have, uh, just on my personal list, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more I want to, plus whatever chat suggests. So we're probably going to be here for a while. Um, though, I mean, we'll see. Uh, I don't, I don't want to go for like too long, because um, there's only so long you can deck build before your brain starts becoming jelly. Okay, so let's do the next one. Uh, and once again, we'll do a vote. Uh, one, two, or three uh, in chat. So we'll do, uh, if you want me to build zombies, put a one. If you want me to build dragons, put a two. Uh, and if you want me to build uh, wild force, put a three. Should probably write down which ones we've done. Two, one, two. Two, two, two. Okay. Dragons it is. Well then. Uh, Dragons got a lot of crazy stuff. Um, and to be perfectly honest, uh, I, I, I kind of don't really know how to build this deck. So um, this may take a while. <laughs> uh, I've, I, I reread everything recently. So I'm just looking through the starter deck again. And I think um, let's let's do this. So I think Canhel is really good. I want to play it. I think Raptor is obviously you know special summoning for free is silly. So I want to play that. Um, I guess a question is what ruler do I want to play? I don't know. Uh, I. I don't, like, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the interaction on the opponent's turn is free, I think, in the starter deck. Uh, Wonderverse, yeah. Uh, um, so Wonderverse uh, and um, and Volnar are the two factions in the Dragon starter deck. So uh, that's the that's that's what we'll be building. Uh, so Canhel is the top one. That reduces, um, yeah, there's a lot of them in Volnar. So Canhel uh, reduces the cost of dragons by one when it's on board. And it's uh, it's got four HP, so it's pretty sticky. Um, and Space Raptor is, uh, you banish it from the game to special summon a level 2 dragon from your hand. So, it's a very good combo tool later in the game, though, earlier on, I, you'd probably just rather pay the energy so you're not losing your whole hand. So, I, to be fair, for Space Raptor, I think it's probably overkill, now that I'm just thinking about it. So, let's go ahead and make that down to 2. Put these down here. Uh, let's go ahead and... 
get overly stressed over the counters already because um, they are a nightmare. Um, the only one that absolutely is going in is this. So this is the legend um, that got revealed. Uh, this card is silly. If you don't know what it does, uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right now. So it's a uh, it's a dragon and a fire uh, counter. Choose one level two or lower card on your opponent's field and destroy it. Uh, and the use timing is normal, and you can choose one card on your opponent's field and destroy it. And then if you have a level two or higher dragon on your field, destroy another card. So this card's silly. It's very very good. Um, so, a zero drop that pays a two drop, yeah, yeah, it's really good. Uh, mag plus butterfly for degenerate shit, absolutely, butterfly, uh, needs to go in. Exchange hand advantage for energy, yeah, basically. Uh, it's, it's not actually, like, it's good, but I actually don't, I don't think it's, like, that good. Like, it sounds really broken, like, the first time you read it, but having seen all the support, it's, like, the deck really doesn't have a massive amount of draw power. Um, they have essentially one advantage gaining tool, really. Uh, and that's Heavenly Kirin. So that's this card. Uh, so you can see it's a counter. So it's a level 2. Uh, and its counter is uh, activate one of your energy, which is a pretty nice counter. Uh, and it, it, the effect is touchdown. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose one dragon from among them. Reveal it. Add it to your hand and put the rest on bottom of the deck. Worth saying, uh, dragon... Uh, is uh, an attribute that is not just on um, on units. Uh, for example, it's on this legend event. Uh, it's on that. So uh, you can grab some other things. Uh, but let me tell you, let me tell you what I really want to play uh, and the card that is just uh, fucking silly. Just absolutely silly. Uh, where are you? The, ma the mandatory card. This boy. This absolute Giga Chad card. This thing. I mean, this card is nuts. Uh, I don't know if you guys know what this does. Among Us. Uh, so, <laughs> so this card is... Uh, so the counter is play this. And you choose one unit, level 3 or lower unit, on your opponent's field. Uh, it's called Golden Sword. You choose one level 3 or lower unit on your opponent's field, nullify its abilities, destroy it, and when you activate this card, your opponent like cannot respond to it with effects or anything. Like It, it goes on the gate, and then they can't uh, add additional effects to the gate. I think they should call that lock the gate, because that's cute, and they should do it. Um, so yeah, uh, I think that card is so, so stupid. <laughs> like, if you ever flip it for counter, you just go, oh. Stonks. <laughs> I'm in a, I'm 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 winning the game. Uh, so that's pretty good. There's oh there's a lot of really good counters um, you want to play. So I want to play two of this dragon. I think so. This dragon, what this one does uh, is, in fact, let me just open up all the dragon translations that aren't already on the card real quick. Oh shit! Do I not have them? Hold on. Let me uh let me go to. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta open up. I gotta open up this translation document real quick. Hold on. Downloads. Uh, set two translations. <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. Just let me double check. I just want to double check uh, exactly. I, 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 it's good. I remember it being good. Um, so this one. Okay. Yeah, so uh, when it enters the field, you choose one of your opponent's set or field cards and destroy it. So I definitely want to play some amount of that. Um, I want to play some amount of this White Fog one, um, which is this one. Nobody can respond until after the card's already resolved, right? Uh, yes, that's what it means, exactly, yeah. Well, so, like, um, because, like, the, so that will, like, end the chain as well. So if your opponent, like, um, activates Emergency Recombination, for example... Uh, and you respond by flipping Golden Sword. Even if they had, like, another emergency recombination they could use, they can't respond to that Golden Sword. They just have to let their thing die. Um, so, uh, it's, it's, it's a little better than just nobody can respond after it's already resolved. Because it, like, it's like nobody can respond to the activation as well. Uh, so, I want to put in 
sum of this dude. So this one is when it's special summoned, choose one level one or lower enemy unit and destroy it. And if you do, heal one. So you definitely want like some amount of this just to be able to play. Um, then other good dragons. There's so many good dragons. So this one, this level three, reduces the costs of all your dragons by one. <laughs> What's the name of that one? The special summon one. Uh, you mean the one that pops? Uh, that is Mysterian of White Fog. Uh, so... I'm still going to listen and read the text, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's see. So, okay, so here's the thing. Um, there's this, um, the card that's like the Ice Flame Mineral is the one that's like uh, set and use if you have fire or water on your field and when your unit's being chosen by an opponent's uh, event or ability and you just not negate that event or ability. There's really not that many fire or waters. Um, so I don't know how often you're actually going to be able to get like good use out of that. Which kind of sucks. Um, I'm really conflicted on what legend to play. I think just because I want more counter space available, I'm gonna play Jack. Um, but, like, I'm pretty conflicted. Sorry, Findar. Bushy Road legal team. <laughs> so, Mysterion has both Dragon and Darkness synergy. Yes. Um, though, I don't think... So, I think um, the Dragon Darkness deck... Whilst it does exist, I think both of them are like stronger on their own now. They're a lot more synergistic. Gonna test step two. Yeah, let me know how it goes. So I of course need some butterfly effect. I've gotta put that in. Uh, and I need so Drago Strike is choose one level two all our enemy unit, and if you have a level two or great dragon field, destroy it. I don't really see a reason to play that when I've got Golden Sword. It just seems strictly better. Uh Let's see. Um, so I actually... <laughs> I, I did just realise. I, uh, I don't have an image of uh, Butterfly Effect <laughs> saved. I'm a professional. I said... I, I, like, I knew dragons were just going to be an absolute... Uh, an absolute clusterfuck for me to put together. Uh, is there some effect in a special summon from the grave? No. So dragons at the moment... Um, that's the thing. Like Once you kind of run out of them in deck... You're kind of done. The wording seems very specific, yeah. Uh, so one thing I was considering is playing the card that's... It's two energy. Put a card to bottom of deck and draw two. Um, just to put, like, dragons back. So I keep having them in deck. Um, to swap out with butterfly effect. But maybe that's just not worth it. Uh, butterfly effect is there. Doesn't say Genesis. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it's more versatile than that. Um, so uh, Genesis summon the Genesis summon ones are kind of restrictive. Um, so not having to to use those is, is pretty nice. So let me go ahead and chuck a butterfly effect in. So I don't think you want four butterfly effects. I think you want like three, because it is a it is a combo card, but um, takes a little while. Uh, so we got that. Uh, we'll put that there, I don't know. Um, right, other good dragons. Detonizer is really good. Um, Detonizer is really good. So Detonizer is enhance. Uh, it's a it's a seven seven two, enhance uh, level two dragons, and you can put a card uh, from your charge into the graveyard to destroy the unit that's attacking it. Um, which is really good. So, like, Detonizer is basically, um, the idea, I think, the way they, yeah, it, it is compatible with other summoning methods too, exactly, yeah. So, the, the way I think they want this to work is you set up, like, a Detonizer, and then you can use your Nullify stuff to just keep the Detonizer around and not have to worry about it, but, I don't know. Like, it feels very much like they want you to play the deck with a closed center, but there's so much set destruction running around. And I was talking to Austin about it, and he was like, yeah, like, the close center variant feels really bad. Um, so I don't know if we can go for that. Uh, thanks for the follow, Das0221. So I, I think Detonize is absolutely worth playing. Um, but again, perhaps not at too many copies, we'll see. Has Darkness Deck been built yet? Yes, it has. The Darkness Deck has been built. 
So what I'll do is, um, no, we no, we have done darkness. Um, so what I'll do is, I will, um, I will tweet out all the decks uh, that I built um, when the stream is done. So I'll tweet out the pictures. Uh, so follow me uh, at Academy Ibo, uh, and you can you can see all the lists we built. Uh, and we can also uh, just roast the ever-loving shit out of me when they end up sucking. <laughs> Uh, so, what else are we going to play? Is the VOD getting posted to YouTube? Yeah. Uh, I'll post, I'll post the whole VOD to YouTube. That's a, that's some, that's a free day I don't have to make a video, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm posting this VOD. Hey, I may even split this into multiple. <laughs> Depending on, uh, how few ideas I have. It does look ridiculous. It does look kind of ridiculous, but I think... It seems really strong in principle, but um, when you kind of think about how the deck will play, you sit there and you realize, like, oh, there's definitely jank here. It looks like there isn't, but there definitely is. Um, and I assure you it will not be anywhere near as good in practice as it seems on paper. Um, yeah, yeah. They won't be bad, but they definitely won't be optimal. I'm, I, I doubt they'll be optimal, unless, unless, like, I happen to stumble across, like, the optimal build or something. Got it, everyone, to drop back. Thanks for coming by. Um, yeah, check out the VOD later, but uh, thanks for coming. Uh, so, Verklight is uh, choose one or more enemy units and allocate three damage among them. Uh, it's also fire, but its stats are really bad, so I don't know if I want to play it. The three, da three damage is quite nice, um, but like, I don't know. Uh, I think the level one or less is kind of most of the time what you'd be dealing with the three damage. It's kind of like it's six attack, to be fair. I don't know. Um, I feel like I should play some Genesis Summoners as well. Um, so maybe should I? I should play Alketas or something. That'll be Genesis Summoners. Yeah, I, I think it should. It's probably about time to start putting in some Genesis Summoners because I haven't put those in yet. Oh yeah, this dude, uh, this four star. Um, so, uh, so okay, so Golden Sword is a combat technique, which means this guy. Um, who lets you uh, play combat techniques from your discard by paying their energy, can just play a golden sword. Um, which is pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, I think I want to play some amount of this guy. Thinking too as well. Uh, I just want to play lots of options because I can, like, I can just go into them, right? Can't wait to use the wizard ruler. Yeah. I think it's going to be really nice having all that energy to, like, do stuff on your opponent's turn. Using that card will make you an energy ruler. Oh, I was already an energy ruler. Um, I don't think I don't think you can play dragons like as not an energy ruler. Um, so while we while we've decided that, let's go ahead and put in some of the essentials for le for for that. So I want to put in. Uh, where are you? I want to put in the untapper. You, this dude. I want four of this so I can just like Ooga Booga, no fear, drop a three if I need to. Actually, this is it's gonna annoy me, so I should do this. Um now this is a level zero warrior. So that means I can play um I can play Alketa. Uh and Alketa will make it a level one. Uh, which means that Alketa plus this will make me a 3, which is quite good. And then I'll increase my summon cap and I'll draw a card so I can still do things. Some of the cards are different sizes. Yeah, um, some of the images like are, are um, slightly bordered um, by like... Uh, because Like the images that are just Japanese um, are like they have a slight see-through border around them. So you don't like... So it looks like they're different sizes um, because they like kind of are. Uh, they're not, obviously, in, in real life. Uh, so I want to play three Alketa, I think. And I probably want to play a few other warriors, but I'm not 100% sure which ones yet. So we'll come back to that. Uh, do I want to play some Merrells? Um, I think in this deck, to be fair, Merrells, uh, and then like I can run more threes and kind of not be worried about it. Is it possible to mix x with any faction or x only? You can mix x with any faction. So, um, the 
Um, all the rulers at the moment let you use uh, at least two factions. Some of them let you use three. And there's no restrictions on which two or three those can be at the moment. So, should probably play some more. Should I play some more threes? I feel like I should. I should ask if it's optimal. Yeah, uh, I, I think that X Vader Blue is the way to go um, with the new Cthulhu stuff, um, which I think we will build um, on stream. I think we will do that. Uh, let's see, what else? Have I missed something obvious? I don't think I have at the moment. Oh, is this a is this a warrior? This is a warrior. Uh, okay, yeah, this card is this card is silly. Oh shit! <laughs> I just highlighted a bunch of cards. Uh, okay, all right. I only put I only put them in once. I think. Uh, yeah, right. That was a mistake. I meant to just put this in. Uh, I think this is a silly card. So it's a level 0, 3, 5, 0. <laughs> That's a warrior, so um, it's just very tanky. Uh, so we'll put three of that in, I think. Uh, and then I want to play Flying Shield. It's some quantity. What's that level zero card? Uh, Alcata doesn't give you free material, though. Yeah, Alcata doesn't give me free material. That is true. Um, but I don't think there's enough space for familiars in this deck as well. So I think I'm just going to kind of take what I can get. Um, what's the level zero card called? I will tell you. It is called... Uh, da, 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 da. Where are you? Where are you? It is called uh, Yomajin Survival Squad. So I've got, oh, uh, I actually have uh, two counter spots open as well. So um, we'll revisit what those can be in a little bit. Maybe there'll be this um, id thing that lets me salvage dragons. We'll see. Uh, then, okay, let's let's have a look back in set one for some good dragons. Uh, I need to put in flying shields. Because those are one of like our only tools to actually defend our dragons. So I think at least three. Uh, I Oh, I definitely want to put in some combat techniques as well. There's this combat technique, which is really, really nice. Um, let me tell you exactly what it does. The image on Survival Squad kind of feels like it was totally meant to be a material. Yeah, like 100%. So, um, this is called Forgazer. Com uh, use timing's immediate. You choose what either one of your warrior or wizard gets plus 3 attack or plus 3 HP until the end of the turn. Your ruler gets plus 3 attack until the end of the turn. Or your ruler gets breakthrough and strike minus 2. So it's just really nice. Um, uh, yeah, I just think it's really, really solid. So I want to play that like two copies, I think. That is this card. Put it here, I guess. So we've got that, we've got the flying shields. So, what else with our two counter spots? I wish Volna had to reduce anything to zero. Um, but they don't, which really does suck quite quite badly. Mm. So at the moment, the last counter I'm thinking is... Oh, actually. Oh, actually, no, sorry. I totally know what I'm playing as the last counter. We're going to play this card. Where are you? We are going to play this level zero event. There, that, that's what we're playing. Um, so that, so the effect on that is the counter is, uh, I believe it's like rest your enemy ruler uh, and you reduce damage to you by two. Uh, so it's a flying shield for just you, um, but the counter is like rest your enemy ruler, which is pretty good. 
So we've got four spots left. Uh, and I want to... And I think, I think we do need to put in some more dragons. Uh, it does feel kind of lacking... Uh, a little. Not, not too badly. Um, you have a very important question. Yep, go on. Why do you not have cat jam? What is cat jam? I do not know what that is. What is... Oh, it's an emote. Um, I don't know. I don't think I have any emotes yet. Wait. Can you not do emotes? No, of course you can. I'm confused. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's a Chrome add-on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. For more emotes. Oh. Well, I'll look into that after the stream. <laughs> Better Twitch TV as a browser plugin. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I see. I see, I see, I see. Hmm. What extra dragons should we play? Should we just do like one more detonizer? One more of each of those twos and threes. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, actually, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. We're going to put in two copies of this guy. And we're going to put in one copy of the pop heel. Because I think that's just very good. I think, you, I think you're pretty much always going to be able to use it. Okay, I do know what cat jam is. <laughs> I do know, I do know. Alright, boys. What do we think? Uh, this is the list. Roast away. Is it missing something? Does it look good? I, th I think it looks good. It's uh, it's night, by the way, because I don't think you need the uh, the extra energy. Your gut says you need to play this. Oh, okay, let's have a look. And then I have to. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, yep. That that does make sense. Yeah, I I agree. I agree. Uh, I think um, it's one of those ones where it's a very new play style, and there will definitely be things I don't like about it. And there's no way to know for sure until I actually sit there and do it. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's dragons. Uh, so let's save it and we can move on to our next deck. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you want to pick up Gate Ruler, use my affiliate links in the description to help support the channel. That'd be much appreciated. If you want to join my Discord server, you can do that too. Link in the description. Follow me on Twitter at Academy Ibo. And I think that is all my shilling. Oh, follow me on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash IboYT. You'll get a notification when the next one of these is going to be, um, which should be this weekend uh, as of the time of this recording. So uh, yeah. just, just follow me. Just follow me. Just show up, man. This, this will be a fun time. Get me to affiliate and then we can get some emojis. There may be some fun ones that I've got commissioned. I don't know. You'll have to you'll have to go over and hit follow and find out. I don't know. Maybe we'll do some fan card testing too. I don't know. You'll have to follow and go find it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, apologies for the mental breakdown just then. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.